Today's video is gonna be a luxury unboxing. I have a little bit of Chanel, Hermes, and a few bits and bobs that I just received in the mail. If you're brand new here, hello, my name is Amy. I've been noticing a few new faces, well, slash names on my comment section. And a lot of you actually asked me about what I'm wearing, like what's the earring, what's the ring, what's the shirt on you. All of those things are always, always linked down below in the description box. All the jewelry that I'm wearing, even the makeup and the lip color that I'm wearing. So today's lip color is Queen from House of Sillage. My jewelry today is also super cute. I have these brand new earrings that I received recently from Julia. They have a lot of things on their website, so you really have to pick and choose. But I always end up choosing things that I love. So these are a pair of dainty cultured pearl earrings and they are silver based rhodium plated i'm also loving this beautiful necklace which is also from them this is a toggle design which is one of my favorite things now especially when they're on the shorter side or i like just looping through my head which is why i tend to prefer longer necklaces because i'm too lazy with my necklaces i'd rather be able to put them on really quickly it's also gold plated and the silver is very very substantial this chunky necklace this little pearl pendant is also cultured pearls, genuine cultured pearls. I highly recommend this piece, especially if you're a lover of pearls and that uh, I'm finding the toggle design really, really handy and also really modern. This is a super cute, very dainty ring. It reminds me of the Hermes rhodium plated with a little bit of their stones throughout. One of my favorite rings from them, which I still to this day <laughs> get asked all the time little pearl ring with a bow detail and it's all sterling silver rhodium plated and this ring has gone through the ringer i wear all the time with my pearl items actually i'm gonna wear my chanel bracelet because i'm already wearing pearl pearl so why not and i love this bracelet this is one of my favorite as well new arrangement that i received from rose forever remember i used to always have like a little flower bouquet behind me those are real roses that are treated to be displayed for up to two years even if you keep it in good shape it's actually a drawer i had no idea okay i love it even more now because it's an actual acrylic drawer on the bottom so i can display some of those things that i'm about to unbox later i chose it in the white color so these are all beautifully crafted real genuine roses and they are treated in a way that looks like they're still alive and they still feel alive, um, but they are actually treated so that they can be just displayed long-term. White, apparently, according to my research, was gonna be my auspicious color in the year of ox. So this apparently is gonna be my auspicious color. Whatever, um, I'm not that superstitious, but why not? I also got in the mail was from my partner in crime, Catherine, well, Cat L, uh, she sent me a little Chanel and some unicorn package things and a beautiful card from Chanel. So obviously I already unboxed it, but I have never showed it here. Uh, it's very, very sweet of her. Actually, you know what? It's so funny. This is um, a, supposed to be a Christmas gift. She posted it on I think November 16th and obviously I didn't get it on Christmas I didn't even get it on New Year's it arrived two months later <laughs> uh, so yeah it's so terrible with all the COVID uh, the postal services being super delayed like, it obviously got extremely delayed we were sure that the package was lost but anyway it finally got here so thank you Catherine um cat actually why am i calling you Catherine now um i commented on her doraemon masks in her instagram photos and she surprised me with two of these i already started using them they are so cute and such a conversation starter actually it's something from the chanel makeup department it says here it's from orchard road singapore manufactured in june 2020 how awesome it comes in this little velvety packaging that is used in a lot of um you know chanel cosmetic uh, brushes and uh, little compacts there you go so beautiful 
and super compact. I love the packaging. I mean, obviously these are pretty bougie mirrors. So thank you, Kat. Um, but this is going to be perfect inside my makeup bag or whenever I travel uh, or just inside my purse. More Chanel unboxing. I picked this up yesterday in the store. So yes, the 21P collection has officially launched. But according to my essay, a lot of things have still not trickled in yet, especially the bags you know, in the very coveted brown color, gold color I've spoken for already. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter though, because I, I wasn't planning on buying any new bags in this particular season. But yeah, I did pick up little something at Chanel anyway, because I always do. Those of you who know me, who have been following my channel for a while would probably have an idea of what this is, because I tend to buy a lot of these things and uh, they usually are too irresistible. However, with the prices that they are, are uh, you know, you know, going towards, it's getting a bit more difficult every time. So even I have my limits. But anyway, I still really like this item. So I decided to get it. So it is a piece of costume jewelry, as you can probably tell from the box. To reveal this beautiful necklace so this beautiful pendant necklace is so pretty it has all these intricate metal work on the pendant itself and it has crystals all throughout in a gold chain so it's really really pretty I just thought it was very intricate and this size of the CC pendant is a little bit smaller so it's a little bit more different from the silver version that I have, which is a bigger CC, which I also love. I actually like really love that one. But I decided to grab this one as well because I don't have a gold version of their pendant. And I am a big fan of their pendant because they are two lengths. So they're adjustable from here. As you can see, there's a little loop here. So you can make it shorter or you can make it longer. I think I'll just do longer today because I am layering with my pearl necklace. And look at how cute this detail is with the little CC at the end as well. Even if you were to wear it alone, for example, it still looks really, really beautiful and discreet. This was part of the 21P collection from the current collection and the price was $772.80 with taxes. So it is pricey, but it's so beautiful, I couldn't pass up on it. <laughs> Finally, the last piece that you're probably waiting for me to unbox is from Hermes. Yes, those of you who follow me knows that I am on my way to my Hermes journey, so I have officially started it. I went in yesterday and I you know, had a couple things on my wish list, so I brought it home. <laughs> so yes, it was my first time uh, in a long, long time back at the boutique. Here is the item. I also wanted to show you that the essay also gave me a bunch of these brochures. So here's the proof of purchase. This is their catalog for their uh, squares, so the Hermes squares. This is from their spring summer collection. And it's just beautiful images of, say, this square pattern and then how it looks like if you wear it. More of the squares as well. So you can see it kind of just has the design on it and then the explanation uh, behind the, their designs. So that's that as well. Because my husband came with me to uh, my visit, he also gave me a little catalog for menswear. I guess this is more about their ties and their neck scarves. So just a bit more eye candy to, you know, look at at home and to get inspiration on what to get next, I suppose. And yeah, I got a little something. I wanted to add something else during the same trip, but they didn't have the color that I wanted. So uh, we'll just have to wait for them to order it in. The Hermes 2021 ribbons. I believe the one that I have from before, because I did go to the store like four years ago. Was it like from 2016, I think? It was my belt. I bought my uh, Constance belt back then. 
So I have the 2016 version of, uh, of the little ribbon. So as you can see, those who are familiar with Hermes would know that this is their packaging for their uh, fashion jewelry. I don't know if they use, they probably don't use the same packaging for their fine jewelry, I don't think. So anyway, it comes in this velvety pouch. It says Hermes there as well to reveal my very first piece of fashion jewelry from Hermes. This is so beautiful. The leather bracelet. This one is the Collier de Chien 24. So the CDC 24. Uh, I'm pretty sure 24 stands for 24 millimeter because this is the exact same width as my belt, my Constance belt. And I chose this, well, they only had this actually in <laughs> black Epsom leather and silver hardware. Obviously, as you can see, there's still a film of the stickers on it. I did end up removing this one already when I was putting it on, but it's so stunning. You open it like this by sliding this piece and then this piece you have to kind of undo it from the top you see how cool it is it has three settings so yeah underneath it looks like this the t1 size is perfect which is why i never got into their um click h bracelets like i love their click h especially because it was like so popular for so long um, I always tried them. They never fit me. They always just ended up like being right there and turning around on my wrist and being very uncomfortable. So uh, I tried them a few times. They did not work out. But anyway, this is how you close it. You just slide it back in. So you can slide it all the way in if you want. And this is how it looks like. Isn't it so cool? Like, okay, maybe not with today's outfit, but I was just like, you know, at the store I was um holding my trendy cc finally i was using my trendy cc when i went there and i was just holding my trendy cc with this bracelet and with the reflection on the mirror and it just looks so super cool especially because it goes with my re uh, wedding set and i love that uh this size fits me perfectly it's smack in the middle so with with like room to move obviously it can still move up and down my wrist as well so it's actually perfect it's not uncomfortable it's very lightweight i did try on the regular cdc and as much as i loved it like i love i love it on other people i just don't feel like i have enough substance on my arm to really pull it off and plus the hardware was a little bit too big for my taste but yeah anyway i just thought this is so cool. All I can say is that I am already becoming a, an addict of Hermes um, fashion jewelry, especially their leather bracelets. I also tried on the Kelly dog, which I really, really loved, but my husband didn't like it as much as this one. I think he's so used to seeing me in daintier jewelry or daintier things and just more feminine things. He was not used to the idea but I can't stop thinking about it. I really loved it. It was so cool. So I am pretty sure I'm going to pick it up as well. Uh, but for this trip, this is all I took with me. Uh, they did not have the item from the home department that I wanted. So uh, let's hope that they can order it in. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's luxury haul video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the items, especially the bracelet. I don't know. I just love it. I mean, I, I think it's so cool. So cool. Have you guys picked up anything from the new collection, from the new Chanel collection? Let me know down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.